Why did you choose Bucharest to live? Good question. That's a good question. So um, I'm disenfranchised with the West. I'm anti-West. This is a completely different pivot now, but my political, my political views are completely anti-Western. I think that the West is on a serious moral and economic decline. And I would rather live in a society which I see is on the way up than on the way down. I think America is becoming more and more violent by the day. Taxes are getting higher and higher. Police powers and police control are getting more and more strict. You're living in a society where you have to be scared of the criminals, scared of the police, scared of the tax man, scared of everything. And I don't see what the benefit of living there is. I don't see it. Same in England. You look at London 10 years ago compared to London now. I can't wear a nice watch in London. Not like I used to be able to. Like if London's not even safe at night, most places now. I'm risking getting stabbed to pay 60% taxes. But if I, and then on top of that, the police want to give me a fine for not wearing a mask. It's a police state. If I'm going to live in a police state, I want at least to be provided with safety. If I go to Dubai, it's a police state, but it's safe. I can wear a million dollar watch all day long. I know I can't fuck with the law, but at least they've given me my safety. In the West, they're going to they're gonna take all your freedom and not provide safety and then want to police your Facebook comments. Why would I stay here? I have money. I don't need to stay here. So as soon as I realized I didn't need to stay here, then I started looking at the world and you realize the world is small because all the problems I just described is all of Western Europe and America and Canada is all the same. All of South America, if you're flexing and living a good life, you're risking getting your head chopped off. Australia is a fucking penal colony. Fuck them. Southeast Asia, a lot of it's crap. I mean, I don't want to bang Thai girls and run around in the sand. Lady boys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, so you start running out of places. And, and, and then you start looking, and the only places to really live that I've enjoyed in my life are Dubai, but that's just one city. You get bored of the city, there's nowhere to go. Or Russia and Eastern Europe. So uh, in Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe is very much a safe place unless you piss off the wrong boys, right? So Eastern Europe is a completely different way crime works. In England, crime can be very random. I was walking down the street, wrong place, wrong time, he stabbed me. In Romania, the chance of a random attack is zero. More mafia, more but, organization. But, but yeah, but if you fuck with the wrong guy, you're going to disappear. But that's the same everywhere in the world, right? If you yeah. fuck with the wrong guy. So I would rather live in a society knowing that I have to respect certain people, but the chance of random violence is zero than England, where you still have to respect certain people and there's a random violence element, right? So I knew some very important guys in Romania. I didn't want to live in Eastern Europe the way I live. You can't just rock up to Ukraine, start pushing a Lambo and fucking a bunch of girls and not have trouble, right? But in Romania, I had good friends to make sure that didn't happen. So um, I had very good friends there from fighting and I went to Romania and we became business partners on a few, bunch of other things and now it is what it is. So um, I feel very, very safe there.